What's up guys, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today we are hopping back into the Argosy renovation and we're doing it with full force because I hope at the end of this video, you see the frame and the shell reattached. But right now, we're getting to work on the subfloor, so stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel, everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. And what's on our agenda for today is picking up the plywood for storage and getting it cut to size so it fits the frame perfectly. Yeah, so we're gonna make some of the initial really long cuts today that need to be super straight, the ones that we want a little guidance on, but I think the show needs to hit the road and we need to get this yeah. uh, plywood in the truck. Yeah, so come along with us. So we got the plywood off the truck. We got it here set up on the sawhorse. We have the uh, measurements that we have to cut every piece of plywood to. That's what we're gonna knock out today. These cuts are very basic. They're just gonna line up the plywood exactly with the dimensions of the frame. After we get to doing that, we'll bring the plywood back to the trailer where we'll then cut out the curves and the wheel wells. But this will get us off to a great start today. This is Terry, my stepdad. Thank you so much for helping us get these things cut. Big help, so. Yes, we appreciate it and have been wanting to get this project done for a while, but have not had the space or the tools or the saw horses to make it happen. So thank you for coming <laughs> well, through for us. <laughs> but we, we will be getting some saw horses now that we see how useful they are. Yes, for sure. All right, well, let's get this stuff loaded up and get back to the camper. All right guys, it is day two now working on this um, subfloor. So yesterday, as you just saw, we cut the general sizes to shape over at my stepdad's and mom's house. And now today, I got those pieces of plywood back here at the trailer, and we're really going to attack getting that curve cut out and uh, hopefully getting the rest of the floor cut in so we can puzzle piece it together. Uh, just emotionally, let me touch on this. We don't talk about emotions that much when it comes to renovations, but uh, I've been feeling lately what I felt when we first got the Airstream, and that is uh, slightly debilitated by fear. Uh, fear of getting the subfloor just right and setting it back down. But I really have to overcome that and uh, plow forward today. The worst thing that can happen is we screw up.
All right, guys, so you have been watching us start from the beginning of the subfloor process, and now today is the big day. Today, we are finally going to be installing the subfloor onto the frame. I plan to end this day with the frame underneath the shell. But let's get started. It is probably like 9.30 in the morning, and um, the first project we're doing today is straightening out all of the C channels. Some of these had damage because the they had improper weight balance on them with no subfloor in the middle of them, so it made them bend. We had Vibe Tribers recommend this tool. I don't even know the name of it. I think it's called a duckbill something. It has worked wonders. So thank you guys whoever recommended that. The next process now is I'm gonna take all the pieces of subfloor and uh, lay them out and we're gonna cut Reflectix to glue onto the bottom of the subfloor. It won't be the only layer of insulation, but it will be that closest layer of insulation that bounces the heat back down if it comes up from the road or something like that. And then right now, Olivia is running to the aluminum fab fabricator to pick up a specific piece of aluminum that will go on the back bumper that the hinge connects to on the very back bumper to lift um, up and have some storage underneath it. That piece was just a little too deteriorated. It's got to tuck in between the subfloor and the frame whenever we set it back down. So we wanted to make sure we got a brand new piece for that. And uh, it's only gonna cost 10 bucks and they're gonna cut it to size. So that's pretty awesome. So that's where we're at now. Let me get back to work and uh, get these pieces of plywood out here and start getting that Reflectix cut to size. So I just got back from picking up this strip of aluminum we needed for the back bumper area that had been corroded that apparently has to be installed underneath the subfloor. Now we're about to put the Reflectix onto the underside of the plywood and we're gonna go ahead and put the adhesive on there and get that set up, let that dry for a while and then screw the subfloor down to the frame. everyone so it has been a long day so far it's probably three o'clock now I'm guessing we got the whole subfloor put in temporarily secured down we want to give us enough uh, playing room that if we need to make any small adjustments whenever we are putting the shell back on it that we don't have to do any major uh, unattaching but everything is in place we got the C channels put back on we got that piece of aluminum. Olivia got a few other pieces put back on here. And the next step is to hook it up to the truck and move it over to the shell. So we're both exhausted though. <laughs> Let's get to work.
So I feel like I look crazy and I probably do. I am so tired that I can barely stand up. We have been in this heat all day and have drank water nonstop, but I still feel dehydrated and a little out of it. And it took a lot of convincing, but I think I convinced Kyle to call it a day for now. We got a whole lot done and tomorrow morning, go ahead and lower the shell back down onto the frame and the subfloor, but we got a lot done and I'm proud of the work we did today. And lowering it down should be, go smoothly, but I'm, I like to anticipate a couple extra hours for every project that we do and it's just mental energy we do not have right now. So I think we need to rest and get refreshed and start again tomorrow. All right, everyone, day two of lowering this frame down. So we got the subfloor underneath it, and we found that yesterday we can actually move the subfloor with our own strength if we um, hold these frames, so that was good. So we will have uh, a decent amount of um, potential to you know, make sure this fits just right when we get enough hands on here. But what I'm doing now is I have lit, jacked up the front of this, removed the two by fours going across, and now I've applied these fail safes underneath here of stacked two by fours. So even if the jacks completely fail and just come down immediately, we have, um, it won't fall to the ground. All along here, there's a buffer of how far it can actually fall in one you know, one series of going down. And we'll keep on um, doing this very incrementally and very slowly to make sure everything's safe. So let's see what happens. much smoother than I had originally expected. I did not think it was going to be so easy to move the shell around, but we've got a couple extra hands. My brother and sister are helping us today and it has gone super quick and super smooth. So we're really excited and we can even still like manipulate the channels a little bit to get the holes lined up exactly, which makes me really happy to not put new holes in the shell when we re-rivet re this back on. So everything's going as planned. It's hot. We got a fan out here. Um, we're taking a little break right now, but hopefully when we come back, we will sit the back into the shell down. All right, y'all, so this bad boy is sitting almost completely right now on the frame. The very back needs to come down an extra inch, not even an extra inch, an extra half an inch. In order to do that, we need to start taking this frame apart because the wood is obstructing it at the very end to come down all the way. So we are almost there. Time to take this frame off. And I think within an hour, we'll have a trailer with the floor. So let's get to work.
right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I am so thrilled that we have now completed the full Monty part of the renovation. The shell is attached to the frame. The lift is looking amazing. We're getting so much clearance. I'll show you outside real quick what we're looking at as far as the lift goes. It's looking great. Next steps are starting to wire, starting to rivet a few things back on, um, and just getting to work now while we can work in the rain. And really, we're gonna turn, crank the speed up from like 10 miles an hour to 60, 70 miles an hour now that we can work with a roof over our head, now that we can get working on different projects at the same time. So thank you again, guys, so much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.